think for my daughters, one of the things I worry about is the impact that social media could have on my daughter's self-esteem. There's so much pressure on girls to look a certain way, dress a certain way. I think there's a lot of boasting or showing off through Instagram and Snapchat how you look that day or how you feel about yourself that day. And then when you're scrolling through your Instagram and models that kind of all have the same body type and a lot of girls look the same. And so it's hard for me to accept that I'm not always going to look like that and I probably never will. My worries with technology and my kids, specifically Jake, is just how far out his circle is extended. There are mean people out there, especially sometimes behind the cloak of an anonymous username. I worry about him feeling hurt. People can just hide behind certain accounts on social media and they will comment something rude with language that is offensive and people make it very personal and hurtful. Um, I've definitely gotten pretty emotional when these comments have been said to me online, um, even just crying. So for us, digital citizenship is very important. We have uh, Title I students whose parents work, uh, maybe one or two jobs. Rent is driving our families to live, two or three families to a home. So when, when we look at the digital divide and looking specifically at access to the online tools, they don't know how to engage with them or what they can actually do, the power that is online. Raise your hand if you know what cyberbullying is. Common Sense has really provided us with the tool and resources to be able to teach digital citizenship to our students. The word, isn't it? So the children are super, super excited to be engaging in that and they can make easy connections. And additionally, we're able to also provide these resources to our parents that speak only Spanish so that they can support the learning at home also. So we teach the students, we teach the teachers, and we teach the parents. Common Sense Media and Common Sense Education, they have been great partners for us. Students have more consciousness about their behavior and the impact that this digital footprint is creating. Common Sense Media is a remarkable resource. Uh, we've used it here in our household to help us figure out what the rules around technology ought to be. I know that I can go there if I want to get ideas on managing devices or really just some information on social media. So how do I start those conversations with my daughters? These small children are our future. They are the future YouTubers, they are the future Twitterers, and we want to make sure that we use this tool wisely. My hope for my students is for them to grow up and be good citizens, be kind, be mindful, be respectful, and just be the best kind-hearted human beings they can.